Willow's kind of our little diva. Aren't you? She's cute. What's up guys? Welcome back to Oak Abode. Today I'm gonna be talking about something a little obscure. How do chickens help during a national crisis? So if you guys are already following us on Instagram, you know I talk a lot about all the benefits that our chickens bring. We have kind of a very mini homestead. We live on about a quarter acre. It's really not a lot. It's a weird shaped corner lot, so we really make the best of every square foot. We also don't have an absurd budget for gardening, so for our little homestead we try to be very free Part of that involves being as self-sustaining as possible. Obviously, we're going through some crazy times right now. Um, a lot of people are not really able to have access to resources and to products in stores the way they're used to. So I just wanted to talk about four ways that our chickens not only help us during this time of kind of crisis around the world, but also how they just help us save money on our mini homestead throughout more regular seasons of life. One of the biggest things that our chickens do for us is basically they give us access to tons of compost totally for free. So we actually don't even buy bedding for our chicken coop because Ian does a lot of woodworking. So we just use the wood shavings from his woodworking projects, which actually turn out to be better quality bedding than a lot of the stuff from the store. I found it stays drier, breaks down more quickly and a little more evenly as well. So especially during these times, I've been building a lot more garden beds than uh, we already had, even though we already had quite a few. This year I'm experimenting with in-ground garden beds and with either raised beds or in-ground beds, you have to fill them with good nutrients. You can't just turn over the soil. Most soil isn't gonna grow the best crops just if you turn it over. Our soil isn't especially horrible but it's definitely not growing ready just from digging. Who is playing with my bucket handle? One thing that we do is we compost their bedding. Even if the bedding isn't fully composted, we layer the newer bedding on the bottom of the garden beds and then we put this more broken down soil on top. So that's known as the Hugo culture method. You guys can look into that more if you want. But obviously, the other thing we do is we put their bedding in the compost pile. We then use that compost, we just mix it in with the garden beds and it gives us lots of really beautiful veggies. That brings me to another benefit of having chickens during a crisis is they will help your compost pile along. So not only do they contribute to the compost pile with their bedding and with nutrients, but also they help turn the compost. We have our chickens fenced off right now, but we had them free ranging last year and their favorite spot to hang out was that compost pile where they would kick everything around, help it break down faster and a little more evenly. Kind of on that note, chickens are really good at being garbage dis Disposals. So they'll take your kitchen scraps and they'll kind of peck at them. To be honest, our chickens are pretty spoiled and they don't eat our kitchen scraps as much as they should because they get a lot of carbs. But what happens is you take these stems and you take all the bits that you wouldn't have eaten anyway, you would have just thrown them in the garbage. You can just put those in the compost pile without chickens and it will break down over time. But that actually brings me to my third point and probably the most obvious point is that chickens are gonna give you protein. Free, pretty much endless, oh my goodness Millie, you're gonna and knock over my camera. So veggies are obviously a very important part of our diets, but in a survival situation, in a crisis situation, a pandemic situation, what's gonna be harder and more important to come by is protein. So obviously I'm not just talking about eating the chickens, we don't eat our chickens, they are pets, but they give us eggs every single day. We get about one egg per hen. So, oh, don't jump up there. So we actually do not use supplemental light in the winter. Um, that's where you add light to your coop in the winter to keep your hens laying. What we do instead is we let their bodies regulate naturally and because of that, even our older hens are laying every other day, if not every day, and they're, uh, they're about three years old now. If you look back at old kind of public service announcements, during times of crisis, the government actually used to encourage people to keep chickens and to keep a garden because when there are food shortages, it's a lot more efficient if everybody actually grows their own food. So it's not only that you're getting eggs, but it's also that you're gonna be getting that many more tomatoes, cucumbers, zucchini, all the good stuff because the chicken waste is going to be very good for your garden as well. And of course, it's all free, so it saves us a ton of money whether the world is in crisis or not. Another way that chickens are hugely helpful during a time of crisis is that they really take care of themselves. All they need is access to food, access to water, and protection from predators and protection from the elements as well. That's pretty much it. I had guinea pigs growing up, I had parakeets, I had pretty much every pet that you can imagine. Chickens have to be the easiest animal that I have ever cared for. Even if you don't have chicken feed during a time of crisis, they're really good at finding their own food.
food. And like I said before, they are really good at taking those kitchen scraps that you have on hand that were going bad or that you weren't gonna eat anyway, and then they turn them into very valuable protein in the form of eggs and meat if that's something you're into. And all the while, they're pretty much taking care of themselves. Lastly, one of the coolest things about having chickens is they are actually really good companionship as well. So again, kind of a problem and why we don't eat our chickens, but we have become quite attached to these little guys. They are very, very personable. They're kind of wild as babies, but they actually get very, very friendly as they're older. Once they start laying, especially, they really calm down. Some breeds are friendlier than others, but um, I really enjoy coming out into the pen or just feeding them in the mornings. We call it watching chicken TV. We do it, our dogs do it. There's something incredibly therapeutic about just hanging out with the hens out here, watching them peck around and just watching some chicken TV. It's very calming and especially in a time when everything can be crazy, these chickens help out mentally more than you might expect. As you can see, they're very social. They're just hanging around me right now. They would definitely prefer that I had food, but I think they're kind of happy to have some company as well. Now we live on a suburban lot, so we can't have roosters but another added bonus of chickens is they are really easy to multiply as well So if you have roosters if you have hens You're pretty much guaranteed to have baby chicks running around without any special attention from people needed for us The only cost of chickens has pretty much been the food and the initial purchase So we actually built their coop almost entirely out of scraps We had laying around and then kind of the feeders the waters and obviously chickens themselves are what you have to pay for when you first start up So that's where the supply chain kind of needs to be functioning a little bit but when you once you have those basics all we really need to keep buying to care for our chickens is the chicken food like I said we don't actually buy bedding for them anymore just because we have all the wood scraps laying around that breaks down really well in their coop but even if we were to run out of food I feel comfortable based on how well our garden grows now because it has those good chicken nutrients that we can grow corn we can grow amaranth we can grow a lot of seed that will help feed these chickens through through the winter and then they can find a lot of their own food through the summer as well and it's always being supplemented by those kitchen scraps too. Dogs are obviously an added bonus. Ours are really good about keeping an eye on the girls. They don't let anything get in to hurt them. So if you guys have been thinking about getting chickens, you guys can always send us a message on Instagram. Our Instagram is oak underscore abode. You can always leave us a comment below. I do my best to respond to those. So if you guys like this video, make sure you click like below and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. I'm also gonna go ahead and link some articles we've written on our website below. They're all about how we care for our backyard chickens, some of our favorite breeds, um, and things that might help get you started on your journey.